if we look at the uh, you know the rise of what we consider modern civilization, which goes back to the uh, the appearance of cuneiform writing in the uh, in the Middle East uh, around five thousand years ago, and we look at uh, <clears throat> we consider that that would be the inception of modern history. Yet the presence of modern humans on this planet goes back many, many, many times longer than that. Um, <clears throat> there's now been skeletons of modern, thoroughly modern humans in every regard that have been dated to 150 to 180,000 years old. So we have this long span of time in which there's essentially very little record of anything that, that happened. of amnesia and a victim of amnesia does not act responsibly he acts irrationally his technological pro progress outstripped his understanding of his milieu and of events in which his ancestors lived or succumbed. And it is a dangerous situation when a victim of amnesia plays with thermonuclear war weapons. He enters into conflicts for which there is no reason. And in many of our actions, even as single individuals, we are sharing in that course of amnesia, of, of not wishing to know, of preferring to forget. Of opposing to a book that said nothing more than was said already and told so many times. 
in thousands of ancient sources. The very violence to, in opposition to that revelation is rooted exactly in this desire not to know.